Assalamu alaikum everyone and today I'd like for you to imagine a situation. For example, if you're in a car, you're driving in a highway and you're wondering because you've been you've been in the gas station five minutes earlier, how does the gas help the car move? How does this work? How does the car move and why does it need that fuel? Well, to answer that, we are going to be talking about the two fundamental concepts in physics when it comes to motion work and energy when we think of work we think of an a job or an occupation but in physics it's different work is an action that is done by a force to displace an object i have this box and this duster i push this box so I push this duster on the other side of the box. I used a certain force to move the duster. And it went a specific distance, the length of the box. So that would mean that I did work. And that work can be calculate, calculated by the amount of force I gave multiply by the amount of distance that it traveled so say hypothetically this box is 20 centimeters optimistic here 20 centimeters and i gave a force of five newtons that means i did 100 joules of work here joules is the si unit that we will use for Newton times meter. However, one more thing that is important to note is that the force that is counted here is parallel to the displacement. Like for example, I'm moving this here, the force is going here, and the object is also going here. That would mean that all my force is being converted into work. Whereas, if I were to make a slight angle and move, this angle has an X component and a Y component. The Y component will not be counted. Only the X component will be converted into work. And if we want to calculate work then, we would have to use F times D times cosine theta. This explains it because if you're already parallel to the displacement then your angle is zero therefore your cosine theta is one so work is equal to fd whereas if you go straight down 90 90 degrees no matter how much force or distance there is cosine of 90 is zero therefore you're not doing any work as you can see here now what is energy then Energy is the capacity to do work, and this can be explained using the work energy theorem. The net amount of work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. This equates work and energy, as the amount of work you do will be converted into the kinetic energy that makes an object move. And this energy comes in many variants. For example, kinetic energy, the energy that is made when you move an object. Potential energy is the amount of energy it could do, and there are many types of potential energies. There's also, there's also chemical energy. Like for example, if a chemical is being used for something, it would have chemical energy. And there's also thermal energy, which is the energy produced by heat. Now let's use these two concepts to understand our query about the car. So the car uses the fuel and it ignites it with oxygen in the air by a spark, which triggers from a chemical energy to a combustion to thermal energy. That thermal energy is converted into mechanical energy or kinetic energy when the, when the air-fuel mixture pushes a piston into the ground and eventually rotates a crankshaft, which rotates a transmission, 
which converts that kinetic energy and it transfers it into these things until it gets to the axle and that rotates the wheels which end up doing work say you travel 10 kilometers from the gas station and you used a net force of 2000 newtons in this journey you would have done 2000 newtons times 10 no, times 10,000, which would be around 20 million joules. I'm saying this off my head, but 20 million joules. That's the amount of work that your car engine has done. So that's all there's to it. Of course, there's going to be tons of future videos about new kinds of motion, about more things about even power which is another fundamental element that i left out in this video which we'll be talking about in the far future in our physics playlist so if you want to watch more of those please subscribe and as for this video you can like the video you can share it to anyone who needs it and you can comment anything that you like maybe it's something you want to say maybe it's a confusion maybe it's whatever and that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.